Did I know Johnny? JT? Johnny Thunders? No, I didn't know him. Nobody knows him. So I'm standing in front of PS 148. I went to elementary school here in the 60s with Johnny Gonzalez. We used to call him Wig City. So, oh, Wig City walked in. Because he had all this hair. It was his hair. We actually all wore shoes from the same shoe store, Tremark, an old lady shoe store. And I saw these guys in their high heel shoes and their skin tight lame pants and the way they pranced around the stage, I'd seen nothing like it before. It was life changing. We were really a rock band that happened to come out in the middle of the punk scene. So he called one day and asked me to come up that he had this idea. He wanted to start a new band. Against all my best instincts, I agreed to do it. Holy shit. How can he fucking play anything? He's half dead. We had a friend of Twin Reverb and, uh, and a Marshall cabinet, and he literally just walked up and I did this. <laughs> he turned everything on tap. There's only a handful of people that play a mass-produced instrument and you know who's playing. His guitar screamed and moaned. It, it didn't play delicate notes. It really got you inside. He was really a blues player, though. And in fact, if you sat down your punk rocker, he would, he would get kind of pissed off about that. You know, some people are born with it. Johnny was born with it. He had charisma. guy had the charisma and character about him that you could see two blocks away. 